ya RGCM yani maskani ya Mungu na watu wake iliyopo Goba Center jijini Dar es Salaam chini ya mtumishi wa Mungu Evangelist Daniel Joshua wanakukaribisha katika ibada mbalimbali siku ya Jumatano ibada ni kuanzia saa kumi kamili jioni Jumamosi ni kuanzia saa nne kamili asubuhi na kuendelea Jumapili ibada ya kwanza ni saa moja kamili asubuhi mpaka saa tano kamili asubuhi ibada ya pili ni kuanzia saa kumi kamili kuendelea kufika katika huduma ya RGCM kwa kazi wa mji panda daladala zinazoelekea makumbusho kisha panda daladala za goba na ushuke kituo cha goba center kwa wakazi wa gongo la mboto na bagala shukia kituo cha mbezi mwisho panda daladala inayokuelekeza goba shuka kituo cha goba center kwa mawasiliano tumia namba 0764711454 Jesus Christ Yesu Kristo utafungwa akili yako utafungwa tena tash guso tash guso karibu sana katika huduma ya RGCM yani maskani ya Mungu na watu wake ambapo wengi wamefunguliwa na kuponywa kama unaandika if you are writing anything andika right kuvunja mipaka au kushughulika na mipaka to deal with the limitations mipaka ni nini what are limitations Mi- paka limitations ni mikomo these are obstacles ama ni vizuizi or hindrances ambavyo mtu hujipima which a person na kujikuta mwisho find himself to the end of it katika eneo fulani in a certain area ukichorewa mpaka when a, a limitation is drawn katika ulimwengu wa roho in the spiritual world katika mwili in the physical lazima itadhihirika it must be experienced inaonekana is there they become busy ama wewe utaona maybe you shall see them au watu wengine wataona or other people shall see them kwa hiyo mpaka wa rohoni so spiritual rise ni halisi these are real katika ulimwengu wa mwili wa damu na nyama in the body of flesh and blood kabisa completely kuna watu ni wazuri some people are good labda walikuwa ni wasomi maybe they were educated lakini katika ulimwengu wa roho by the spiritual realm wamechorewa mipaka there was a limitation kama umechorewa mipaka katika ulimwengu wa roho if a limitation provided in the spiritual realm elimu yako katika ulimwengu wa mwili sure physical education haiwezi kukusaidia it cannot help you anything kama umechorewa mpaka katika ulimwengu wa roho there is a limitation for you in the spiritual realm bibi yako you are hard working ya kufanya kazi to work hard katika mwili wa na nyama in the physical world haiwezi kusaidia chochote it cannot help you okay. anything jambo la pili the second point zipo alama there are signs zinazoweza kukuonyesha which show you kuna aina fulani ya mipaka there are certain kind of boundaries kuna alama there are signs ambazo ukiziangalia namna hii which when you look at the signs ndio unashangaa mtu anasema you be surprised someone is saying kwetu sisi hatuolewi in our family we are not married unashangaa mtu anasema someone is saying kwetu sisi hatujengi in your family you don't build a house unashangaa mtu anasema someone is saying kwetu sisi hatuokoki in your families we are not born again unashangaa mtu anasema someone is saying kwetu sisi si watumishi wa Mungu in your family we are not ministers of god kwa nini why kuna alama katika mwili wa damu na nyama there is a sign in the physical ukikaa chini ukatulia when you sit down and meditate unasema you say ah ndio maana that's why ndio maana nimezuiwa hapa ndio maana hata nimesoma sijafanikiwa ndio maana nafanya kazi haijanisaidia ndio maana nafanya hivi hizi ni alama ambazo ukikaa chini vizuri ukatafakari unagundua mipaka yetu sisi ni hapa haijawewezekana kwenye uza wenu kile kile kilichozuia kaka zako the same which is to your brothers ndio hicho hicho kinakuzuia na wewe the one which is stopping you kile kile kilichozuia dada zako the same which is to your sister ndio hicho hicho kinakuzuia na wewe the one which is stopping you kile kile kilichozuia ukoa kwenu the same which is to your clan hicho hicho is now operating kinakuzuia na wewe is now operating in your life manake ni nini what does it mean mpaka limitation katika ulimwengu wa roho limitation the spiritual realm jambo la tatu the third point jambo la tatu the third point mipaka ikishughulikiwa when the limitations are dealt with kiroho spiritually watu ustawi then people prosper mipaka when the boundaries ikishughulikiwa are dealt with kiroho in the spirit ni lazima there is a must matokeo yatokee there must be results katika ulimwengu in the 
the world wa mwili wa damu na nyama okay. sasa twende haraka kwenye aina nne za mipaka let's go quickly with four types of limitations ambayo Mungu anataka tuishughulikie that god want us to deal with mpaka wa kwanza the first boundary unaitwa mpaka wa kifikra huu ni namna gani what type of boundary this one is mpaka wa kimtazamo is a boundary dealing with the shetani anafunga mtazamo wa mtu certain times once mindset unakuwa mwenye kujiona hadi fulani sure the person who is thinking yourself in certain ways unajiona duni tu you see like you are always weak unajiona usiyefaa you are useless hundi mpaka wa kwanza this is the first limitation na naomba nikwambie i want to tell you aina ya ukombozi ambao unahitaji the kind of salvation that you need nimekuja kugundua I've come to discover. Kuwatoa watu mapepo sio issue. You know casting out demons is not the big issue. Lakini kubadilisha mitazamo yao. But changing people's mindset. Kuhusiana na kile walichokuwa wanapitia. About that which they are passing through. Ndio issue. That's a problem. Na ndio maana utachukua utashangaa sana. This will be surprised. Nitamwita huyu mtumishi. I call this minister. Tamwambia tangu sasa. I'll tell him from today. Na kuombea. I pray for you. Ninakutangazia. I announce to you. Umefunguliwa tangu sasa. I delivered from now. Anaweza akaanguka. He can fall down. Na pepo akajidhihirisha. And there can be manifestation. Na akinyanyuka pale. But when he is raising from that. Akaamini kabisa amefunguliwa. He believe completely that is delivered. Lakini akipita dakika tatu mbele. But a few minutes after. Fahamu zake zinakata. The man said he saying no. Kiraisi hivyo. Simple like that? Yaani kiraisi hivyo funguke. Simple like that? Issue sio kutolewa pepo. The issue is not the demon to be cast out. Ukombozi wa kwanza. The first liberation. Ambao mwanadamu anatakiwa aupate. That a person is supposed to have. Ni ukombozi wa kifika. The mental liberation. I'll show you. Pepo akiingia ndani yako sasa hivi. When the demon enters you right now. Allo hawaendi moyoni. Let's not go to the heart. Sehemu ya kwanza pepo ataingia. The first place where the demon can ni get wapi in. ni kwenye fikra. Where that is in the mindset. Mahali ambapo atakuwa na uwezo wa kukumu monitor that is the place where demon can monitor your life anaweza ku control can control you unajikuta unaanza kuwaza vitu vya ajabu ajabu you find yourself thinking strange things unajikuta kuna vitu vinaanza kupata nafasi kwenye akili yako you see certain things start getting position kwa nini chance in your mind pepo akiingia ndani yako because when the demon enters you hawawezi kufanya chochote they cannot do anything kabla hawajao na uwezo wa kuteka before they are able to manipulate ufahamu wako Mithali sura 23:7 But Proverbs 23 Aonavyo mtu just as the man sees nafsini mwake in his heart ndivyo alivyo that the way he is nyosha mkono wako hivi lift your hands i am sema ninavyojiona the way i consider myself ndivyo nitakavyokuwa in the way i will be hakuna muujiza there is no miracle here listen to me ukijiona maskini If you consider yourself poor, hakuna muujiza wa utajiri. There is no miracle to become rich. Ukijiona unakufa, when you consider yourself dying, hakuna muujiza wa uzima. There is no miracle. Deliverance haina maana. Deliverance is nothing. Kama ukombozi wa fikra hujafanya. Unless you are transformed from your mind. Kama akili ijajeushwa, unless your mind is transformed. Haina maana. It's nothing. Haina maana. Na kuna vyanzo vitatu vya mipaka ya fikra. You know sources of spiritual limitation. Vyanzo vitatu vya mipaka ya kifikra. There are three sources of spiritual limitation. Chanzo cha kwanza. The first source kutokuwa na maarifa sahihi. Lacking the right knowledge. Kukosa maarifa sahihi. Lacking correct knowledge. Kuna kuingiza kwenye hii limitation. It gets you this kind of limitation. Na ndo maana Yesu that's why Jesus akawaambia wanafunzi wake to his disciples. Mkawafanye mataifa. Go and make them the nation. Si kuwa watu waliofuzu. Not to become people who are qualified. Wakawe wanafunzi. But make them to be the Kwa disciples. Kwa maana katika njia ya kujua. That means in the process of knowing. Katika njia ya kufahamu. In the process of understanding. Ndio watakuwa huru there will be made how you saw mama andiko anasema the scripture is saying kisha mtafahamu kweli then you shall know the truth na hiyo kweli and the truth itaoweka huru shall set you free it is impossible please i was a kani it is impossible i was a kani for you to be free ili kuwa huru kama kuna mahali if there is a place ufahamu wako hujafunguka ndio maana inatakiwa iwe ni shauku ya moyo wako this what must be desire for her iwe ni kiu ya moyo wako let it be the desire for her umjue mungu to know god uvijue vitu to know things mwanadamu aliyekamilika 
A person who is complete ni mwanadamu aliye tayari kujifunza. Is a person who is ready to learn. Ukijiona umefunga milango ya kujifunza. If you find yourself have locked the doors of Maana yake uko kwenye mipaka. That means you are in the limitations ya kifikra. Of the mind. If knowledge. Angalia neno la Mungu katika kitabu cha Isaya sura ya 5 mstari wa 13. The book of Isaiah chapter 5 Isaiah 5 verse 13. Kwa sababu hiyo watu wangu wamechukuliwa mateka kwa sababu hiyo watu wangu therefore my people wamechukuliwa mateka have gone into captivity uh-huh. kwa kukosa kuwa na maarifa uh-huh. na watu wao wenye cheo uh-huh. wana njaa sema kwa kukosa kuwa na maarifa because they have not knowledge wameingizwa they are katika, u- katika utumwa they are initiated in slavery utumwa in slavery wameingia kwa sababu they got themselves because ni kwa sababu because moja tu because of one reason wamekataa they refuse kitu kinachoitwa maarifa something called knowledge na mahali pengine biblia inasema naomba unitazame for the priest the bible is saying kwa sababu umeyakataa maarifa because you have rejected the knowledge na mimi and i god nimekukataa wewe has rejected you kuna kiwango cha maarifa the certain level of knowledge ukisha kikataa when you deny it kwanza umeshajiingiza kwenye mipaka first you get yourself with the bomb na wala mungu hawezi you see like god cannot do kuingilia kati maisha yako god cannot intervene in your life kwa hiyo umemzuia mungu so stop god na umejizuia mwenyewe you stop yourself chanzo cha pili cha mpaka wa kifikra the second source chanzo cha pili the second source cha mpaka wa kifikra of spiritual limitation kutokuwa na roho mtakatifu ndani yako not having the holy spirit inside of you kutokuwa na roho mtakatifu ndani yako not having the holy spirit inside of you kukosa roho mtakatifu losing the holy spirit isaya 11 mstari wa pili isaya biblia inasema tumepewa mtoto anaitwa mwanamume mtoto wa kiume the bible is saying that we are given a son anasema na uwezo wa kifalme utakuwa big gain mwake and the authority is upon his shoulders lakini mstari wa pili una mafunuo but this second verse I've got, I've got the revelation isaya 11:2 anasema uh-huh. na roho ya bwana na roho wa bwana atakaju yake atakaju yake roho ya hekima na ufahamu roho ya hekima na ufahamu roho ya shauri na uweza roho ya shauri na uweza roho ya maarifa na kumcha bwana ishia hapo hapo Roho mtakatifu akiingia ndani ya mtu when your spirit enters a person anamjaza roho ya maarifa is feeling that person the spirit of knowing ndo mahali ambapo ufahamu wa mtu unafunguka that is a place where the spiritual understanding is enlightened akili za mtu zinakuwa sawa sawa someone's mind come the right place ukitaka kujua unatembea na roho mtakatifu au vipi if you want to know whether or not to walk with the holy spirit wala wala usitutishe kwa kunena kwa lugha don't even trouble us with your tongues kuna vitu tunaviangalia tu there are things we always observe hekima iko ndani yako are you are you having the wisdom maarifa yako ndani yako do you have knowledge una utulivu wa kifikra Are you settled in your mind? Mitazamo yako ni nini? What about you are revelation? Maandiko yanasema the scripture says Wazi wazi openly anasema the scripture ya maarifa the spirit of understanding Roho mtakatifu akiingia ndani ya mtu when your spirit gets into somebody kitu cha kwanza anachokifanya the first thing what he does analeta nuru kwenye fikra za mtu he brings the light Petro Peter wa Petro kabla ya kujazwa Roho mtakatifu Peter before being filled with the Holy Spirit. Na Petro baada ya kujazwa Roho Mtakatifu. And Peter after he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Hawa ni watu wawili tofauti. Those are two different men. Petro kabla hajajazwa Roho Mtakatifu. Peter before the Holy Spirit came. Hakuwa na ujasiri. Was not honest. Hakuwa na mtazamo imara. Did not have a firm perspective. Alikuwa na yumba yumba. He was just being swayed to Lakini fro. Petro baada ya kujazwa Roho Mtakatifu. But Peter after he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Tunamuona anasimama anahubiri injili ya kwanza. We are told he stands and speak the first gospel. Ufahamu umefunuliwa. His understanding Shhh. is enlightened. Angalia inafika mahali. It comes a point. Inafika mahali. It comes a point. Watu wanasema. People are saying. Hawa siki na Petro hawa. Are this not Peter? Ambao hata hawajaenda shule. Who have not even gone to school. Nini kimebadilisha fikra zao? What has transformed their understanding? Walipo kia roho mtakatifu when they receive the holy spirit fahamu sao their minds zikafunguliwa were open suddenly ni kama, ni kama kitu kikajivua kwenye it's like something was unmasked and must serve waliokuwa wajinga those who were foolish wakaona akili they 
became clever. Maandiko yanasema. The scripture says. Ikafika mahali mtu mmoja anaitwa Stefano. It came a point one person by the name. Watu wakashindana na hekima yake. People fought with his wisdom. Wala hawakuweza kuishinda hekima. They could not prevail against the yes, Suleiman. The wisdom of Stefano. Yes, yes, Stefano. The wisdom of Stephen. Kilicho watofautisha wanafunzi ni nini? What differentiated these people? Ndio maana Yesu akawaambia. This what Jesus told them. Ukipelekwa mabarazani. When they take you in the court. Msiwaze mtaongea nini? Don't consider what you're going to speak. Kwa sababu si mimi mtakuwa mnaongea. Because not you who are going to speak. Ghafla nitaweka mtazamo wangu. Then I put my own perspective. Nitazitawala fikra zenu. I'll control your mind. Nikitawala hizi fikra. When I control your mind. Hawa watu all these people ghafla suddenly hata kuongea kwao even they are speaking kuna kuwa soko kwa kawaida was transformed hata mawazo yao even their ideas kuwa sio ya kawaida they were no usual nataka nikupe siri leo i want to give a secret today siri leo the secret ukimpata roho mtakatifu when you receive all spirit tayari umeshinda mpaka already you have overcome the fikra you have overcome the spiritual boundary ninakuombea roho mtakatifu kwa jina lako ninakuombea roho mtakatifu kwa jina lako ninakuombea roho mtakatifu kwa jina lako haleluya haleluya kama unanielewa sema amina nzuri amen ndota shangaa watu wanakuuliza people ask you questions una degree ngapi how many degrees do you have una phd ngapi how many phds do you have haya mambo umeyasomea wapi this kind of things where do you get them from si kwamba umeyasomea is not what is called roho alioko ndani yako Roho alioko ndani yako. Amevunja mipaka. Ameondoa mipaka. Ile mipaka ya kifikra. Na leo Bwana atavunja huo mpaka. Utapokea Roho Mtakatifu. Utaenda kuwa shujaa. Ayaba shakatara boshi katayaba. Ukishakosa Roho Mtakatifu. Umekosa maarifa. Ufahamu wako hujafunguliwa. Lakini ufahamu wako kifunguliwa. Petro anafika mahali. Anakutana na kiwete. Lakini mtazamo umefunguliwa. Anasema sina fedha. Sina dhahabu. Lakini mtazamo nilionao. Simama chitwike godoro uende. Take a mattress and go. Kwa nini Petro amefika kwenye kiwango hicho? Why Peter came to this point? Ni kwa sababu because ufahamu wake his spiritual understanding Roho Mtakatifu through Holy Spirit umefunuliwa. Is enlightened. Ninakuombea kwa jina la Yesu. I pray for the name of Jesus. Hautafanya biashara. Kwa akili zako mwenyewe. Hautaomba. Kwa akili zako mwenyewe. Hautahudumu. Kwa akili zako mwenyewe. Natamka nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Ifungue fahamu zako. Ifungue akili zako. Shara bakatori ama Zekataya baba baba Amen Jesus Jesu kupokea Roho Mtakatifu receiving Holy Spirit ni kupokea mwanga kwenye fikra the light in the mind enlightenment in your mind Amen Gafla suddenly unakuwa na mawazo yaliyo juu au hujajua maandiko yanasema yoyote aliyo mema yoyote aliyo mazuri ukiwepo wema wa wote yatafakarini hayo 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 amen 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 jesus christ amen petro anamwambia kiwete huu hii ni akili iliyotiwa nuru anamwambia sina fedha sina dhahabu lakini roho akiweko ndani yako amenifunulia nina jina lipitalo majina yote simama jitwike godoro simama uende go na saa ile ile Biblia inasema aliyekuwa kiwete kwa miaka 40 years Mimi sijui situation ulionayo Umekaa nayo kiasi gani Si kwa sababu ni ngumu Ni kwa sababu mtazamo wako Haujabadilika Sio kwamba hiyo shida ni kubwa Ni kwa sababu mtazamo wako Haujabadilika Sio kwamba hali unayokutana nayo Wengine hawajawahi kushinda Tatizo ni kwa sababu ufahamu wako haujabadilika i speak enlightenment in your mind Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. be enlightened right Amen. now pokea kuwe kwa nuru 
Chanzo cha tatu cha mpaka wa kifika kinaitwa kufungwa na roho za kishetani nguvu za giza shetani anatawala ufahamu wako warumi wa korinto wa pili sura ya 10 mstari wa 5 paulo anatuonyesha mahali ambapo fikra zinaweza kuwa manipulated zinaweza zikachanganywa zikachanganywa hebu nisomee wa korinto wa pili The second book of Corinthians chapter Sura ya 5 mstari wa 5. Chapter 10 and verse 5. Sikiliza hiyo kesi hapo. Nini kinaweza? Nini kinaweza kumanipulate fikra zako? Anasema, tukiangusha mawazo, tukiangusha mawazo na kila kitu kilichoinuka, na kila kitu kilichoinuka. Kijiinuacho juu ya elimu ya Mungu. Kijiunuacho juu ya elimu ya Mungu na tukiteka nyara na tukiteka nyara kila fikra ipate kumtii kila fikra ipate kumtii Kristo naomba unisikilize i want to listen please eneo jingine ambalo chanzo kingine cha mpaka wa kifikra another source of spiritual limitation i say ni mahali ambapo pepo wanakukalia kichwani is a place where by the demons so, it can our, be an illustration mahali ambapo a place where kuvu za giza the powers of darkness zinakaa kwenye fikra zako sit kwa on your mind if like this unaenda kariako ziko kichwani you go to kariako the young top of you bizo zinazokuambia kata kushoto which are controlling you kata kulia they ask they tell you pepe, go right pepe, go left people are chaff the dead spirits wanaweza kukaa kichwani namna hiyo they can sit on your mind like this zunguka uzunguka you can go round as you can go nenda uendapo you go where you want to go pepe amekalia fikra zake the zaka. demon the demon sits on your mind paulo anaandika paul is writing anasema hivi he said like this tukiteka nyara casting down kila fikra all arguments na kila elimu and every high thing na ujinua that exalted self kinyume na elimu ya Mwana against the knowledge of god kuna wakati ambao there are times when people wa chaf the dead spirits wanaweza kumonitor they can monitor akili zako your mind you understand me nataka kujua uthamani wa mtu if you want to know the value of humanity ngoja akili imruke kidogo late when that person go mad na kuambia i'm telling you hata kama ulikuwa unampenda even if you were loving that person utajikuta unaanza kuwa makini when they become mad people utasema ataniua you start to be careful kwa nini umeanza kumkata thinking maybe you kill me medula why medula ubulanga because the brain imesheki has been manipulated imezunguka kidogo imeyumba wanasema the brain has been shared waswahili wanasema dish the swahili are saying that dish limeyumba the satellite has some mahali ambapo there is a place pepo wachaf the dead spirits wanakalia fikra they sit upon your mind mahali ambapo paulo anatufundisha is a place where apostle paul is teaching us how we can overcome namna ipi tunaweza tukapinga demonic attack mashambulio ya kipepo or demonic manipulation au ile hali ya kuvamiwa mafamizi ya kipepo in our minds katika fahamu zetu sababu shetani anaweza ukana kuambia i can tell you that satan can sit on you akakukalia kwenye kichwa he can sit upon your head kila maamuzi utakao kwa unaamua all the decisions that you take wrong decision pepo akipata nafasi when the demons get kwenye maisha ya mtu in someone's life eneo la kwanza the first area na kuambia sio rohoni the first area to be attacked eneo la kwanza not in the heart ni eneo la kimaamuzi the first area in the area of the sister changa mtu anaua watoto wake wawili the president person is killing their own children anawachinja watoto wake is killing their own children alafu na yeye anakunywa and also the drink sum they poison the alafu mnamuuliza huyu mtu and ask this person kwa nini ulikuwa unaua watoto wako why did you kill your children anakuambia maisha yalikuwa magumu life was so difficult kweli ni kwamba the truth is hata mkampeleka wapi even if you take that person to any prayer lakini hata sero ya wapi you can take them to any kind of prayer kilicho sababisha afanye hivyo what cause all the decisions it is a demonic mentality ni mashambulizi ya kipepo ogopa sana pepo asipate nafasi kwenye fikra zake be very careful that certain not ni naomba ni kuambie ukweli wa i want the truth the gospel truth pepo likisha kuingia when demon enters you sehemu ya kwanza the first place ni kwenye medula ya is in your mind how they can monitor anaweza akachunguza aka ndo unaanza kuamua 
akafuatilia akili zako the demon is teaching you today when he comes back don't set water for him today when he comes back frown he knows very well that he will put the spirit of anger in the husband now look at the battle binti kanuna The, the wife is angry Baba and the husband also is coming back angry what comes next is the boxing now you are beaten you say I want to go home to my parents and the demon says yes that's what I wanted go home go home go to your mother go to your father go home go home divorce him don't you have a home After there's no one man. You know you forget your five children. A man is not only one. There are many. There are many men. There are many men. And the, and the demon is pumping you. Is it pumping you through? You remember even Juma wants you. You remember Juma approached you. And you took the same decisions. I must go home. He, demon say yes tumemaliza kazi finish ah. kila jambo unaloliamua everything you decide linakuwa si wewe unayeamua it becomes not you lakini ile spirit iliyo ndani yako but that dead is do inakusukuma kuamua the one drive na ndio maana huwa nawaambia watu that's why i'm telling people usifanye maamuzi don't make decisions ukiwa na hasira when you are angry usifanye maamuzi don't make decisions ukiwa na uchungu When you have pain usifanye maamuzi don't make decisions ukiwa umekwazika when you have problems maamuzi yoyote all decisions unayoweza kuyafanya that want to take ukiwa na hasira when you are angry ukiwa na uchungu when you have pain ukiwa umekwazika when you are frustrated ni maamuzi those are decisions yenye kukubomoa which are destroying you na yaliyo sukumu and which are pushed na nguvu za kisa which are driven by power darkness in action we silence every silence attack tunanyamazisha kila aina mashambulizi ya adui ninasimama kwenye mamlaka hii i stand with this authority na wanyamazisha wote we silence all wanokushambulia kwa siri who are attacking you nasimama kwenye madhabahu hii i stand with this authority na wanyamazisha wote i silence all wanokushambulia kwa siri who are attacking you sir every silence attack hey, hey. i command in the name of jesus amen let them fall now amen hebu kila mmoja weka mkono wako kuume kwenye utosi wako Everyone put your right hand on top of Na uo wa kushoto inua juu. And the left one raise up. Kama unafikiri ni mwisho? If you think this ends. Kama ni mwisho mkono wako inua juu sana. If you think that's the end of your arm. Sema Yesu. Yes. Ninaenda kuhesabu hadi 3 na baada ya tatu ile ombi litakuwa limefika mwisho na utakuwa umefunguliwa. To the count of three, That will be the end of it. Inua imani yako sasa. Now raise Mashema up. Mashema simwe macho. Moja. One. Asante Bwana Yesu. Yaani ninaposema tatu maana hilo tatizo ndio mwisho wala alitakali iwe ndani yako tena. When I count to three, that problem will be vanished. Ma agent ya watafunga ufahamu wako tena. The agent of hell shall never be in your mind. Do. Karaba shakaraba kota kasaya ba. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante baba. Thank you Father. Asante baba. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Mimi na nus. Two and a half. Mashema simwe macho. Nguvu ya Mungu inaenda kutenda kazi hapa. Don't cons. Don't cons me careful. Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mimi na robo tatu. The name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Now, shoka. Hata unenitazama mahali popote. Those who are watching whatever you are. Ndio ninafungua na fahamu yako. I deliver also your understanding. Biblia nasema akafungua fahamu zao. The Bible says deliver the understanding. Waelewe na maandiko. Let's understand the gospel. Wewe uliokuwa hapa mbele na kufungua. You are here the front I. Hayapokea uzima wako. Moto kila mahali. Fire everywhere. Unaona kwa hiyo binti hapo hiyo nguvu inatenda kazi. Quickly. Touch. Quickly. Touch. Guso. Touch. Guso. Ndio tunavunja mipaka hapa. Hey, we are breaking the bond. Touch. Go there. Aha. Kusa. Unaona hiyo? Touch. Kusa. Kusa. Aha. Set loose. Aha. Broken loose. Aha. Break it loose. Aha. Let your legs. Loose. Let your legs. Let your legs go.
Huduma ya RGCM yani maskani ya Mungu na watu wake iliyopo Goba Center jijini Dar es Salaam chini ya mtumishi wa Mungu Evangelist Daniel Joshua. Wanakukaribisha katika ibada mbalimbali. Mbali. Siku ya Jumatano ibada ni kuanzia saa kumi kamili jioni. Jumamosi ni kuanzia saa nne kamili asubuhi na kuendelea. Jumapili ibada ya kwanza ni saa moja kamili asubuhi mpaka saa tano kamili asubuhi. Ibada ya pili ni kuanzia saa kumi kamili kuendelea. Kufika katika huduma ya RGCM kwa kazi wa mjini. Panda daladala zinazoelekea makumbusho. Kisha panda daladala za Goba na ushuke kituo cha Goba Center. Kwa wakazi wa Gongo la Mboto na Bagala, shukia kituo cha Mbezi Mwisho. Panda daladala inayokuelekeza Goba, shuka kituo cha Goba Center. Kwa mawasiliano, tumia namba 0764711454. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Utafungwa akili yako. Utafungwa tena. Tash. Guso. Tash. Guso. Karibu sana katika huduma ya RGCM yani maskani ya Mungu na watu wake ambapo wengi wamefunguliwa na kuponywa